Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I want to say a big Merry Christmas to everybody and a big hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, I want to give a big shout out to my neighbor. He lives right over there. Right over there. Next to me. He goes by Robear. And what I mean by my neighbor is he's in Canada. My next door neighbor right over there. So, big shout out to Robert. Thank you. And uh, glad I could help you with the parts and so forth. So, um, he also suggested that I should uh, ask the subs when you comment if you're, or regardless where you're from, just, you know, if you want to add that to your comments. Who knows? Maybe I'll give you a shout out too. So, sure could do that. Um, we're going to get back on this old Yamaha. It surely is abused. There should be laws, folks, against outboard abuse. You understand. So I managed to get a few of the pieces, parts off. Um, I was able to save the whole uh, tiller handle part, and I'm getting an easy movement in there now. I don't know if you can see that, but. Uh, something gooey all on this. I don't need to come apart, but it was kind of critical that I saved that because those are, those are the cables made to fit this engine. Now, as far as this bracket here, um, I took my die grinder, the 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 Diablo tool, the devil of devil tools. I took the Diablo and uh, yeah cut what I could cut off of that off of here and got that big bolt out and I was actually able to save the spacers and everything so that's good I took this piece right here off it goes down here so that I can kind of lift that but in order to get the rest of this broken up what I believe to be an Evinrude big twin bracket that somebody had made to work on this which it looked like it did fine and I can't be for sure of that, but I'll show you some things once I get all this apart. And you say, well now, mm -hmm, yeah, well now, what I need, mm -hmm, now, how you gonna get that apart? You are absolutely correct. Off with its head. I gotta pop it like a teenage zit. And the way I'm looking at it, the reason why is I can actually turn this bolt going in there. The problem is there's a nut on the back side up in there and here. I, I'm thinking that's turning with it. So I'm going to have to pop its head. Pop it like a little zit. And I figure it this way. I get this head popped off here. I can clean everything up, clean the lower cowling, maybe do a little painting, etc., 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 etc. So I've got her laid up here on the old specimen synthesis. Now, Anybody tell me, any of you Yamaha guys, what are these things? What are they? I mean, they're sharp as can be. And, and is that for, you know, lifting it with like a, you know, like my lift, my specialty lift or something so that it lifts straight? I don't know what these are for other than the, boy, that is sharp. And there's two on each side. So if anybody knows what them are, chime in because I don't. My other enduro out there don't got them. 
Enduro 40. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Kind of interesting. So let me get my tools together. I'll start pulling this power head off. Be right back. I'll be back when I get closer to getting it. Now, I don't know about it. I had to use heat and a torch, and I got this piece off. Right there. So, um, that holds the lower part of the whole unit. But it looks to me like that bolt and the one on the other side. And boy, I sure hope they don't spin in there, because if they do, oh boy, then you've got a issues so I'm gonna heat it up real good and I think I'll go ahead and drill me a few little pilot holes right here on this where this stud is hopefully you can see where I'm pointing and stuff right here one two three I'm gonna put a drill quick three holes there see if I can get some lube in there and uh, then I'll do the heat and th 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 thing. You know that heat and th th thing. How did I knock off my washers? Oh. So, let's get you turned over. Yeah, right in here. Drill me a few little holes. Somewhere. Okay, okay. Put another one, maybe. Right in there. Now I'm going to get the heat in that, but only at the top kind of because I know there's rubber in there. Not that it really matters a whole lot.
see what's up with this. Oh man, ain't long enough. Ain't long enough. Let's go to our door. Did I miss one of those? Let's go on with this guy here. Have to give some of that or something. Oh, that thing's so heavy. on that side over there? I don't think so. off whatever it is <sighs> see is there another one like that oh yeah I missed one I missed one over there I think I can get it from right here though oh, thank God can almost almost a There it is. Now, I think that's all of them. I think that might be the whole Thor and Kabooten. So, see, running back there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, if there anything else, the linkage setup would need to come off. That needs to come off. Linkage. Um, you know, I'll just take that back off, and the uh, I'll take the fuel pump off because all I've got it on is finger tight. Then I'll take the uh, sediment bowl filter off. All that will be unhooked then, all the fuel line stuff. You understand us? There it is. But I need that washer. And there comes the washer. Salty, salty abuse. This is an old drive shaft, it has a hole in the end. 
I might be able to put it on there and put the air gun on it. So I'm gonna push this thing all the way over there. Put you guys over here. But yeah. slot right there in the casting it's just kind of being a pickle I got me some that time yes I did there she goes that should do we chip it away. Now, Thor will get hold. That's what Thor do. Get him up out of there. Damn. See all that bubble gum weld in there? And let me show you. there somehow like that and I mean the holes did line up and there is actual guide pins and guide pin recesses here so maybe it is original Yamaha They broke it to pieces, so I'm going to have to come up with something different. Something different. But, you know, it's off. Whether I'll even use this again on this motor, I'm not sure. the lower on it there's the mid and cowling and there, there's the power head it's named that tune but shield Walk a toboggan with a four-speed stick. But she'll walk a toboggan with a four-speed stick. Name that tune. Well, okay. Um, I pop it at the power head like a teenage zit. And... I will, on the next rainy day, go out there on my wet table and wash everything up real good. And then I will start digging through the old bone pile and see what my options are for this guy to get a good 
swivel bracket tiller assembly on this thing. And while I'm in there, I'll clean and clean and paint and prime and do a little bit of that stuff. I've already come this far. Might as well keep going, don't you understand? So, and uh, I just want to say I hope everyone has a safe and wonderful Christmas and New Year's. Um, if you can't be with the ones that you love, you can certainly pick up the phone and let them know that just because you're not with them, you still love them very much and miss them. And uh, we got some vaccines and so forth. And so everybody just stay safe. Have a wonderful Christmas. And, you know, remember the reason for the season and don't forget them little, little gift busters that come running down the stairs. Um, so everybody take care of yourself and have a wonderful Christmas. That's all I'm going to do on this one today, which turned into to, to tonight because I am tired and I got aluminum dust all over me from Diablo. It's not nervous to Diablo. Anyway, Merry Christmas. One more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching.